Possible shots fired by one Hasbro designer. See what it did there? Let's get right into it. Of course, with the amazing popularity of the Studio 686 series, we all know that at some point, Studio Series 86 Megatron is coming. And you know what? Now we have confirmation from one Hasbro designer what we can expect. Of course, Evan Brooks, well-known Transformer designer, has posted to his Instagram that when they do get to Studio Series 86 Megatron, he will indeed be a tank. And you know what? This it shouldn't be a surprise to anyone. We have known for years, years as Transformer fans that we will never, ever, ever see the Generation 1 gun mode ever again in toy form. But yet, some fans out there just can't accept this and fanboys are upset that we will never see this Generation 1 reissue or remake gun as Megatron. And they can't accept it and it's really frustrating me because we all know it's not possible. The gun mode is from a forgotten bygone era. That's almost 40 years ago we had Megatron as a gun. And you know what? We live in a different world these days. The, it just wouldn't be socially acceptable for Hasbro to make a gun mode. And what? It's going to be like way more high quality, better designed than the original gun. And that already caused tons of problems even back in the day. So. What are we going to do? Because from Hasbro's standpoint, they already tried to reissue the gun once and it didn't go well. We'll get to that in a second. I was just at TransformerCon 2024 and, and I just attended an Aaron Archer panel where he actually went over as an ex Hasbro designer why they could never ever do the Generation 1 reissue Megatron. And so let's take a look at that clip right here. Uh, over the long arc of Megatron as a, a, a pistol toys, a lot of different things have changed gun law and toy law wise. And um, you can see over time, you used to be able to get replicas with no coloring, and then there were certain colorings with replica. Now you can't even get replica, no matter what color you make it, because the gun laws have all changed. And, um, and you tried it. Yeah, we tried, we tried different things, and it's just, uh, it, it's, it's something that's gets scarier and scarier for a toy company and try to attempt because it's just a pain, really. There's a, a hot orange G1 Megatron out there. Yeah, we try right. to do the G1 Megatron. So like, we'll take G1 Megatron's mold, do a hot orange, maybe we could reissue that. Yeah, nope. Because <laughs> the replica nature of it now is impossible to make a toy uh, to a certain age grade anyway. Uh, that's replica. So. Megatron cannot come out again, essentially. And that doesn't matter if it's a tiny one. New Jersey and California put in uh, strict toy weapon laws, which then blanket the United States. But then Hasbro's just gonna go, we're not gonna worry about it. We'll make a different product. So that's what's happened to the weapons. And so the biggest natural is, if you can't do a gun, what's the biggest gun? A tank. So they were doing that back in June 2, and we just continued that on uh, pretty much since that's the best way to get a big blaster weapon. Make him attack. That's Aaron Archer providing his own insight into why the Transformers Generation 1 gun mode Megatron can never happen again. So that clears it up. We can't do it. There are laws in place that will not allow this to happen as a children's toy in North America. And so even so in that clip, after that fact, Proto Man, best known for the uh, Transformer Slag podcast, he ever mentioned that they tried to do an orange reissue of Generation 1 Megatron, and even that got shot down and never made it to production. So the fact is they can try multicolor, they can try anything, but it just cannot happen. So you know what? As fans, we know that they're just going to have to do tank mode, and we're going to have to be okay with that, because the thing is, 6 said it best. Uh, I've seen a short from today and basically they're just gonna have to bang out an amazing generation one design of a bot mode that transforms into a tank and the fact is 98% of us will have a transform representing generation one 
Megatron on our collection shelves. So that's what we're going to have to live with and that's how it's going moving forward. So fanboys out there need to get over this that they're crying that Hasbro's letting them down. It just can't happen. We're going to have to move on. I mentioned earlier this covers North America. There is a slim chance that maybe Takara in Japan where the rules are a little different, society is a little different, that they could possibly get away with doing some kind of Generation 1 reissue or some kind of new masterpiece series figure. But for North America, where, you know, I live, possibly you live, we're never going to see a Generation 1 Megatron gun reissue ever happen. That's my quick insight into the situation. Now, what do you think? Are you going to be happy with a Generation 1 inspired tank mode Megatron for the 86 listing? Or are you just going to skip it? Let me know what you're going to do in the comments below. And you know what? Hopefully, you know it's going to be amazing. They're going to make sure they put so much work and effort into that to make sure us hardcore fans are super pleased with it. So, hopefully it all works out. I'm sure we'll see more details on it in the coming weeks and the coming months.